Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how we can draft an antique crazy quilt. In part one, we will cover creation of foundation patterns that make sense for a crazy quilt. And we'll also talk about how to bring in a fabric collection from a major designer. Okay, I'm going to start by um, getting a file ready to import some fabrics into EQ7. So I'm just going to call this one Antique uh, Crazy Quilt and press OK. Now before I bring some new fabrics in, I want to get rid of the existing fabrics in the sketchbook. So I'm going to view the sketchbook, I'm going to go to the Fabrics tab, and you can see all the default fabrics are there. I'm just going to select clear and it gives me an option of deleting basically any unused fabrics or any fabrics and I'm just going to click OK and notice that it's blank which means everything has been cleared out. Now I need to go to my Moda site and I will find a fabric collection that I can use for this project. And from my Moda site I'm going to do a keyword search for wool and that's going to give me uh, some wool collections to select from. So I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to click on the blue uh, scissors and notice that it opened a, or that there's a zip file there and I'm going to select the other wool and needle flannels collection and click on the blue and it creates another file. So to, I do need to unzip my files now so I can right click on one of them and if I do open it will open the files. Once I've got the file open I can click on the first image and do a control A and it will select everything. And I want to select extract and I'm going to go to the downloads and uh, select one and call it wool fabrics. And I'm going to actually do wool fabrics too because I did this once before. So I'm going to select OK. And then I can close this down. And I'm going to go to the other one and do a control A and extract. And I'm also going to put this one in wool fabrics too and select OK. Now if I close down my zip files um, I can go into my downloads and I'm just going to sort by today's and I'm going to select wool fabrics too and I'm just going to double click on it and you can see all of the things that I've downloaded basically are showing up here. Now what I'm going to do is take some of these extraneous items and just delete them because I really don't want to bring those in. So now that I know where they're at, I can go ahead and open EQ7. Now that I'm in EQ7, I can go to the Libraries and Fabric Libraries and I'm going to select the Import function and I want to import from image files and I'm going to go into my downloads sort these by date going the other direction or pick today's date and I'm going to select wool fabrics 2 and I'm going to select the first one and do a control A and select open and once the fabrics appear I can do a control A and I can add to sketchbook. So I don't actually have to save them in the library, I can save them in the sketchbook. And if I go back and view my sketchbook I can see all of the fabrics basically have come in here. Now let's talk about creating a crazy quilt patch. And so I'm going to go to the work on block tab and I want to do a block, new block, and I want to do an easy draw block.
Now, the thing with these um, crazy quilt patches, um, we're probably not going to want to snap to grid. So, and that's usually the default, so most of you probably have that clicked on. I want you to turn that off so it's not grayed in. And I want you to gray in the, and click on the snap to lines and arcs of drawing. And that's going to make it a little bit easier for us to work on here. Now when I'm doing these um, crazy quilt blocks, I'd actually like to start from the outside and go in. And I'm trying to draw basically some irregular lines, um, and I'm just going to go from one line point to another. And again, things should snap. Um, I don't have to actually click on that previous line. I just need to click on two lines that are already there. So you can see I'm sort of working my way in. I'm trying to keep this um, basically fairly um, sort of off-center because this is really a crazy quilt. And you can make it as complex or as simple as you want here. Now notice that um, and so I've got something here that basically can be pieced from the inside out. Now, if I go ahead and I um, divide this, that means I'm going to have to piece this section separately. So if I want a very simple crazy block, I'm not going to necessarily want that. So I'm going to do a control Z and get rid of that. And I'm now going to go to the color tab and I'm going to take my patches and basically color them using um, these new collections that I've just added here. And once I've got this colored, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the sketchbook. Now let's go ahead and create our quilt. And again, you could do a lot of different crazy quilts, but I'm going to show you an even simpler way to do this. And let's say I've got a setting here of 4x4. Four four. And I'm just going to change my layout because I know I want bigger blocks to be 15 inch blocks. Um, so I have something fairly large to work with. Um, I'll figure out the borders um, later, but I'm going to go to layer one and I can add my patch. Now, let's say I just want a whole bunch of different ones. EQ has made it a lot simpler for us in that they've created some crazy quilt blocks already in their library. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the library and um, in the section called Foundation Piece, I'm going to click on that, and they have a number of different crazy blocks, uh, complex, and you can see these ones would take a little bit more to piece. They've got pineapples, and they have simple. I'm going to go ahead and take the simple ones. I'm going to select the first one and do a Control A, and I'm going to add those to the sketchbook. Now I can select my set block and I can go ahead and just add these in. And again, I don't have to use them all and I can rotate them, um, but I basically want um, a host of sort of different blocks that I can um, quickly, quickly insert here. And once I have them um, all inserted, I can go ahead and recolor. And I'm going to show you just one quick on the recolor here. I'm going to go ahead and use the Swap All Colors. And I can select a fabric, select a patch, and it will recolor everything using that fabric. And so I can um, play with you know different fabrics. And what I'm really trying to do here is just um, fairly quickly recolor everything that is uh, out there. And again, I can still go back later and I can uh, make some adjustments from what I'm doing here, but it gives me at least a fairly um, quick and efficient way to get everything at least um, recolored. Let's see, I have a pink. I'll use a... 
and so I've now replaced um, all of these crazy um, quilt patches with um, one of the wool collections. Next week I'm going to cover how to create the circles that go into each of the intersections of the block. Thanks so much for watching. For additional videos and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.